Today I'll be showing you how to make four do-it-yourself knuckle rings for less than $10. They're easy, fun to make, and super wearable. Let's get started. First up is the Kirk. This ring is the easiest, fastest, and will help you learn the basics of making the knuckle ring. Start off by finding something that is about the same size as your finger. I'm going to be using this mascara. Next, take your wire and wrap it around the mascara until it overlaps once. Slide it off and snip the wire. This is what it'll look like, but you'll have a rough edge at the end of your ring. So take your pliers and bend the edges back into a loop. You can use your fingers for this also, but be careful. See how it seals off the ends? When you're finished, you'll have something that looks like a horseshoe. Now, wrap the ring around your finger and mold it so that it's the perfect fit. The only thing left to do is to push the loops down, that way they lay flat against your finger. You can wear this two ways, with the loops on the top of your finger, or you can wear them with the loops on the bottom of your finger for a more sleek look. And voila! Your first ring, the Kirk. This ring is very similar to the Kirk, and we'll make sure that you get all the basics down before we move on to the harder rings. Start off by wrapping your wire around your finger-sized tool again, but this time wrap it twice instead of just once. Slip it off and snip the wire. Now you're going to create loops at the ends to seal them off just like we did in our last ring. If you want, you can add beads to the end with some glue, but I prefer doing it this way better. Once again, just slip it onto your finger and mold for the perfect fit. Push the little loops down and we're done! And I give you the sable. Think you've got the hang of the easy stuff? Let's give something a bit harder a try. This is the Arthur. You're going to need some glue for this one, so make sure that you have some handy. Start off by taking your pliers and creating a small loop similar to the ones we've been making at the end of our rings. Then switch back and forth between using your fingers and using your pliers to create a spiral shape. As you're creating your spiral, stop periodically to measure up against whatever beads, stud, or knickknack you're going to stick onto your ring. You want the spiral to be just slightly smaller than whatever it is you're putting on top of it. Once your spiral is the right size, push it up against your finger size tool and wrap your wire around once. Snip it off and create a small loop at the end to seal off the harsh end. Push the second loop down, that way it'll lay flat against your finger, then slip it on and mold for the perfect fit. You can even leave your ring like this if you want, but if you do decide to attach your bead, carefully put a little dab of glue onto your bead and then quickly stick it onto the spiral base. Don't use too much because then it'll leak through the holes in your spiral and make it super uncomfortable to wear. If you want, you can add a second smaller bead to the second spiral that we created. I like the way that this looks because it doesn't look like there's a definitive beginning or end to your ring. And now you have officially created the Arthur. 
And finally, the daintiest, girliest, and my personal favorite of all the rings, the Eleanor. Start off by straightening out a piece of wire and cutting it free. Starting in the middle of the wire, clamp your pliers down and create a small loop. You'll end up with something that looks sort of like a ribbon shape. Unfortunately, I went a little out of frame for this next part, so bear with me, but all I did was take one of the wire ends and wrap it around to complete the infinity shape. I know it looks hard, but when you're doing it, it's pretty easy. Now push the infinity sign up against your tool and wrap the ends around. Cut off the loose ends and seal off the rough edges with a small loop. Now just slip it on, mold it to fit your finger, and you're done! Now that you've learned how to make all the rings, remember to give it a big thumbs up and let me know which ring is your favorite in the comment section below. Don't be afraid to be creative, play around with new designs, and most importantly, make something that you'll love to wear. Whatever you end up making, make sure that you tweet it to me at at Jason Morelli with the hashtag perpetualxbeauty, that way I can find it. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to one another. Bye, guys.